Welcome back my friends to Marvel Snap. We have an amazing deck to showcase today. This time headed by Dracula, the Lord of Darkness himself. And the uh, the natural pairing is with the Infinite. So Dracula's play is that after the final turn, discard a card from your hand. This has its power. So Dracula fits into the category. There's a whole set of decks here that are kind of Infinite delivery system decks because this 20 power is absolutely game changing, but the uh, clause here on the Infinite prevents you from really ever playing him just on his own. If you played a card last turn, you cannot play this. So we have Jubilee to potentially randomly pull the Infinite from the deck. That happens in a very small subset of games. Most often we want to be able to play Dracula and then manage our hand in such a way so that the Infinite is going to be the one that Dracula is going to feast upon and gain his strength. To be able to round out the rest of our deck here, we've got Chavez and Hulk, some other high value targets, both for Jubilee and Dracula to be able to hit. Nakia is just obligatory at this point in the meta, you always play her. Uh, Okoye as well, both of these able to buff everything in deck. Okoye is quite nice um, with Jubilee being able to pull extra from the deck. Sunspot we can play to be able to help round out our energy curve. With our hand management the way that it is, we end up with some awkward turns um, that can feed extra energy into Sunspot. And then we have Nightcrawler, Scarlet Witch, Angela, and Strong Guy. Strong Guy has some synergies with Dracula. Angela is just incredibly efficient overall, as is Nightcrawler. And Scarlet Witch um, allows us to manipulate some locations to our advantage. Um, just something that's become fairly, fairly popular for me to try and utilize to help get out of some kryptonite locations. We have the deck list above and then we have timestamps down below if you want to be able to jump around. Here we get to see negative zone having the infinite in hand. We could easily fight through the, um, the what is it, the debuff that the negative zone is going to be providing will match our opponent. Pair of sunspots for ya. Atalan, quite interesting. On turn four, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw three cards. Okoye is going to love this. Now, it, it means that we get more access to cards that will be buffed by Okoye. What if we Scarlet Witch the negative zone? Is this something that we care about? We would certainly like to play Scarlet Witch. And I don't necessarily want to trade off of Atalan because I'm depleting my hand size quite a bit very early on here. But I don't know if the negative zone is necessarily bad for us. Or worse for us than for our opponent, I suppose, is what you need to think about. Let's get the Okoye buff going. See what witch pops up for us. We get the big house. The big house is actually not great <laughs> because it, our deck is, ooh, they lost, what? What? We both lost infinite? Oh my goodness, thumbs up. You got to thumbs up that one. Okay, well, um, I think I just Angela to Atalan and then we see what happens. We have a little bit of energy left over to go to Sunspot. Our opponent has nothing in hand. I'm trying to figure out what kind of deck my opponent was playing with the Infinite. What are we up against? What is your master plan? Let's play, well, Dracula. We do not have a good card to pair with Dracula right now. They go wave. Okay, so they're playing some kind of control deck. I'm surprised that they would fit Domino into this control deck. That just does not make sense to me, but I'm probably overthinking what my opponent's game plan is. We'll go Jubilee here. Fingers crossed that we pull Chavez. Because of the reshuffle, I'm not sure how much that affects the odds of Chavez, but I think that we're getting about a, a 60 or 70% chance on getting Chavez here. <laughs> oh man, they lead her into my Jubilee, into their Jubilee, into a full location. If Wave had not have been here, then their Jubilee could have pulled something else. We got the Chavez exactly as we wanted. And now let me tell you, we can guarantee that Dracula will chew up Hulk. Popping off here in Sokovia. We have the lead in Atalan. Oh, everything is coming up our way, fellas. 
Uh, I'm gonna snap back. It's just that easy. <laughs> They're like, I have my brilliant play of leader. And then they didn't pull. I mean, it's kind of remarkable that they didn't pull Chavez. But there it is. Dracula getting his first win here. Let's see if we can pull some other good highlights. Honestly, this deck has me a little curious what the Marvel comic run featuring Dracula, Dracula was uh, was like. I might have to go back and start reading some of the comics. If anybody knows down in the comments below, let me know. Was the run of comics featuring Dracula any good? And does it actually connect to the MCU? Or not the cinematic universe, but does it connect to the rest of the Marvel universe? Or is it out there as like one of the wild one-offs that they did? We wanted to hold Scarlet Witch so that we had full information. We may play her to Lechugulia. I always pronounce that wrong. Lecha, Lechugulia. Yeah. Um, but we may also play it to Baxter Building. If it looks like we are being outclassed at that location. Savage Land is a little tricky. We could put Dracula over there. We would really like to try and find Jubilee, because here we're in the sticky situation of having both the Infinaut and Hulk in hand. Oh no. Hellcow already hitting Apocalypse? Hang on. And Swarm? They had the absolute best, best opening hand of a discard deck? What is happening? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll Dracula. But if we don't pull Jubilee to thin Chavez out of the... We got her. Speak of the devil. Do I think that my plus 11 here wins Baxter building? Not a chance. We'll go Jubilee. And we'll turn Baxter building off so that they're not getting the buff. I'm kind of surrendering this. There's their Morbius. Jubilee pull Chavez. Come on. Yes. Well, ooh. We're still a little stuck. I got a rock. Are you kidding me? I got a rock? What am I supposed to do with our... I mean, honestly, we're, we're not in the terrible position right now. Aside from knowing that his hand is full of free swarms and a powerful apocalypse, so... Uh, I can play Hulk and then just hope that Dracula eats up the Infinaut. Or I can play both Angela and a rock <laughs> and get a little bit of strength on Sunspot. Let's see, that would be plus three over there, bringing him to 11, which doesn't win. And then Dracula would be guaranteed to hit 11 or the 20. I think we're just, we're living on a prayer here on the Infinaut coming through for us. Not gonna snap. Because it's very bad odds on Dracula doing something nice. They got the Apocalypse. Swarm, swarm. Okay, this is not as bad. It's what we hit it? Yes! <laughs> Dracula comes through. Oh, man. That's actually... I mean, we saw his opening hand. He was hitting Apocalypse and Swarm immediately. Downsided... Um, he didn't get any buffs on Swarm before it got cut up. But um, I'm feeling very good about that. That was a great draw for our opponent, and we still topped him. Ooh, Jubilee, Infinite Angela. I like this opening hand. I would like to have some early tempo plays. Eh, we don't get one. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> but here with Dracula, we have effectively all of our favorite engine pieces. Jubilee to thin the deck, Infinite Dracula combo, and then Angela just to be a consistent force at one of the other locations. They get to buff their entire deck, putting us at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Xandar's a spot that Angela will very happily occupy. So we'll play like so. Not sure how much effectiveness Sunspot is going to have, but having a low cost card to get the extra buff on Angela is going to be nice. And absorb the buff from Xandar, etc, etc. Depending on what flips here, and mapping out future turns, we're most likely to play Jubilee to Monster Island, Dracula solo 
on right, and then fill up Angela's location with as many other cards as possible. Okay, the big house does change that. It means that, um, what does it mean for us? Dracula could play to Xandar. We play Sunspot Strong Guy here. Jubilee here to Monster Island. We may be embracing loading up only two locations here with this kind of setup. And because these cards are, are high enough on the energy curve, we can effectively understand what our final couple turns are going to be. They played armor. Why are you playing armor? What kind of deck would still play armor? Also, why would you play it if you were going to buff it with Nakia? They've hit the dream of Okoye buffing the entire deck and then Nakia buffing the entire hand. The only unfortunate thing for them is that they are now very much behind on tempo out on the board itself. So here goes Jubilee. Please draw Chavez. Mr. Fantastic, you don't say. It's a little bit of an odd one. I get a Koi. No! No, I don't want a Koi. Oh, and I draw a Hulk? Are you kidding me? So now I'm never going to be able to score a strong guy. Uh, that's going to be a joke. But I think that we're still in an okay spot. We go Dracula Nightcrawler. That puts the extra buff on Angela. Now we're going to draw Chavez. Unless they play some kind of Mantis shenanigans. But this deck isn't going to run man. I don't understand. Why Mr. Fantastic? Oh, you're some kind of ongoing deck? That Iron Man is going to make things a little sticky. How... How is this going to go over? I've been beaten. You have bested me. That's what it feels like. You're winning the big house. I disregarded playing to it whatsoever. And now with Iron Man, you're going to be able to top me. Hulk will answer. I'm going to go up to a 29, which is enough. And I don't know. But I mean, obviously they're going to play to Xandar. No, you play to the big house? Are you kidding me? You thought that a 12 point lead was enough? What? We win this too? <laughs> uh, my, my friend? If you had just played Nightcrawler over here. Fascinating. All right, coming in with the rematch against our opponent. Oh, this time. Last game, it was him with the Okoye Nakia opener. This time, it's us. I love it. I don't want to mind game too much about what he was thinking at the end of the previous match. But it is still puzzling me as to why he made those set of plays. I would like to leave one location open for Angela. So I guess it doesn't matter too much which one it is. I'll just play here to Grand Central. Grand Central's a terrible spot for Angela because you get the add extra card that'll come in that won't buff her. All right, he has the Okoye. He just got it a one turn late. That's not not the end of the world by any means. Kamartage. Are you guys seeing this? Um, I will snap just upon seeing Kamartage with Nakia in hand, getting plus four on both uh, Jubilee Sunspot, the Infinite, it's only going to matter if we get Dracula. I very rarely play the Infinite outright. There have been games that I've done it. Um, but it is not something I would recommend. It's really only there to be comboed with Dracula. Well, it also combos with Jubilee, right? There's a couple... You need, you need multiple points of synergy. Um... Let me tell you, Kamartage and Jubilee go together. She's she's throwing a celebration over here at Kamartage, unlike anything the sorcerers have ever seen. Angela, that's unfortunate. Dracula, where is my Chavez? Are you kidding me? 
Chavez is in the bottom three cards of the deck, they tell me. Well, <laughs> Dracula at Camartage is going to get a little exciting. He's gonna he's gonna turn my entire deck into craft craft paper. Tissue paper. Tissue paper probably sounds a little better. You're gonna Iron Man buffs the angel. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Now I hope that you realize what my Dracula is potentially able to do. Grand Central, pull the infinite. Yes. <laughs> it's so strong. It is just so strong. So now what's my what's my opponent gonna do? Yeah, give him the thumbs up. I got that. I got the free infinite. It's all skill, my friend. It's all skill. I'm winning at two of the locations and Dracula is going to put me over the top at Kamartage unless he plays there. He could swing Nightcrawler. Nah, he doesn't have any plays. He doesn't have anything. He hasn't shown anything in deck that's explosive enough to be able to top us. With only three cards in hand. Sarah Miracle in this kind of situation might be able to put down a, a sw an endgame swing, but we've got it all locked up. What is this? 25 strength infinite. And you're just going to play the Chavez. Unanimous victory. We win every single location. I sna Yeah, no, I, I snapped as soon as we saw Kamartage. Incredible. There is the Dracula deck. I have been having so much fun with this list. It's absolutely incredible. Headlined by the Dark Lord himself. He is the only pool three card out of the list. As soon as you collect him, you'll be able to build everything else. Everything else is pool one and two around him. Highly efficient cards. I think really this is the optimum list for a Dracula deck. But let me know down in the comments how you guys would potentially improve this or what kind of combos you would be looking to play out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Marvel Snap content to come. Till next time, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.